Hey, this is Haplin, and in this module, I'm going to show you how to set up the social planner. Now, when it comes to social media and high level, there's a couple different facets that high level does a really good job of helping our business with. So I'm going to show you a couple of these different areas. But the first is just the straightforward social planner in our sub account. Let's head over to marketing. And the first tab here is going to be the social planner. From here, we can connect Facebook, Instagram, Google business page, LinkedIn, TikTok, YouTube, and Pinterest, including including uh, internal communities, which we're not really covering here, but that is a lot of different social media platforms that we can sync up and consolidate with the social planner. Once inside, you can create posts for multiple platforms simultaneously. Let's take a look at that really quick. There's just a little new post UI that allows us to post to any of our platforms. We can use AI to generate text and images with the little AI button right here. You can click send post to approval, which will notify the appropriate person in charge of approving that post before it goes live. Back in the main planner interface, we have lists of posts as well as a whole calendar so we can keep track of all of our different posts, all the different platforms with a calendar view. There's also a full statistics page where we can see all kinds of good analytics across platforms so we can see which posts are performing the best, repost the ones that are, etc. There's all kinds of good stuff to check out here. And then there's also a settings. This is where we can add or remove accounts at any time. And then there's also notifications area when we want to get notified as well as categories. This is a really cool feature that allows us to apply categories as well as tags to any of our posts. So if we have certain categories of content, different types of content that we want to post like an equal distribution of throughout the week. A classic example is like a personal trainer wants to do one post on nutrition, one post on a workout plan, and then one direct call to action kind of salesy type post. They can have categories for that and then make sure the categories are set up on a schedule so that there's one one post from each category per week. And then when you're adding new content, you can simply select the category and add it to a queue. This helps just really standardize a cadence of posting and make sure that posts happen regularly. You can recycle or repost popular posts from the past based on category, etc. It's just really nice for organization. Watermarks are also really nice because they make sure you're getting credit for your original content. And this allows you to use a single watermark for all of your posts on all of your different platforms. Okay, so that's a quick look at the social planner itself and there's more information about the social planner in the help doc link beneath this video but I want to show you one other really cool thing specifically for Facebook and Instagram that you only get once the social planner is set up that is comment automation in order for this to work we want to make sure that we have Facebook and or Instagram connected at the location level so I'm going to scroll down to settings and then within settings click integrations and now here I'm just going to connect Facebook and Instagram this is going to pull up a wizard that will just walk me through the process process really quickly. Once that is set up, then I am going to head into automations and we're going to build another workflow. And the trigger for this workflow is going to be Facebook or Instagram comments on a post. We want to make sure we filter to the proper page and then post type is usually just published. We can filter to a specific post if we want, but then something that's a really good idea here is to add a filter for contains phrase or exact match phrase. I'm going to go with exact match because now I can implement like a keyword to fire off some automation. So let's go with the one word growth now. Save trigger. Now every time somebody comments growth now on one of my posts, it will trigger an automation inside of high level. But okay, so what kind of actions can we really set up from here? Well, we could do all kinds of things like tag or we could notify a user with an internal notification like this, but the real meat and potatoes is the interactive messenger. We can do this on Facebook or Instagram and set it up so that whenever somebody comments that keyword on a post, we automatically start a new DM conversation with them. So I could have a message set up like this. Hey, contact first name. Thanks for commenting on my post. What's a good email for me to send your free lead magnet to? And once I save this action alongside whatever other actions I want to do, I could comment back so I could reply in comments. I could make sure I like that comment, etc. But now, basically, what the end result of this kind of workflow is, is I can create content, create a video, create a post saying, hey, if you want my help, if you want to engage in conversation with me, if you want to move forward, if you want to free this or that, whatever it is, 
comment below growth now and I can use my organic content strategy to actually drive conversations and drive new leads being generated. And then as you know, that messenger thread is gonna show up inside of high level in the contacts conversation interface. And then if they respond with an email to a message like this, high level will automatically add that email. We could trigger more automation based on the addition of that email to send the free lead magnet. We can get them organized in a conversation pipeline, then try to get a text thread going and so on and so forth. And it's all going to live right in that same conversations interface with their Facebook messenger, them sharing their email, then the email thread, and then the SMS all in one. And then of course, the cherry on top is that you can have conversation AI actually manage this conversation for you, be it in Facebook messenger, Instagram DMs, or SMS. So this is a real quick wins avalanche because it uses a couple different quick wins together. But the end result is that you basically transform your entire social media strategy, whatever you were doing before, now you can really see some tangible results from it in the form of getting people walking down the sales path, getting into conversations, generating leads, so on and so forth. So there you go. That is how to increase your reach, engagement, and conversion with the social planner. Now that you know how to use those features, you can go ahead and move on. Thank you.